All right, guys. Uh, well, here we go. That was interesting. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Not, M3 here. <laughs> they did not want to stop at the yellow light. I am with Johnny in his Model 3 long range uh, rear wheel drive. This is a 2008 model. And we are on uh, full, full self-driving beta. I um, don't know which version of the beta yet. Do you know? Um, I could pull it's it up. It's the latest yeah, version of beta, latest. I think. Um, but... The uh, interesting thing is here, it pulled us into the left turning lane, yeah. but we needed to be in the straight we lane. We need to go straight. So, so this uh, is one of the issues here that, so, it, that it sometimes has. It decides it wants to go into the wrong lane. Yeah. So, um, so first of all, let's back up. So first of all, you bought... Um, enhanced autopilot initially right. yes. initially yes and so you're you're you got on the full self-driving beta are you doing the subscription you're not doing the subscription no okay. no what I because you're, you're back then you had once you did that you had the full self-driving quote-unquote package right so that? back then when I bought the car I bought enhanced yes and That's I did not get full self-driving back when I bought the vehicle and mm -hmm. it was like a three thousand dollar upgrade at purchase or five thousand later yeah at the end of quarter they had one of their sales who said uh. hey we're gonna sell this for two thousand dollars but basically it wasn't doing anything better for us because yeah. enhanced already did summoning Some, yeah. self-parking all yeah, that yeah, yeah. well technically at that point summoning wasn't a thing yeah but Later all of that out. was already included with enhanced which yeah. as we all know they recently brought back yes. incredible it, investment you need to get it. I actually am going to get it, but I'm going to hold <laughs> off until the next one, which is going to be later this year. I'll tell you why. Um, because right now, if you want, if you want full self-driving, it's 12k. But if you can get a enhanced autopilot, you get all that. You get summons. You get en uh, enhanced summons, or what is what it is called? There's summons and there's enhanced summons, or something. There are two different versions of summon. You also get uh, navigate on autopilot, mm -hmm. and uh, which is one things. of the most important things. Yes, exactly. Navigate on autopilot. Pilot is is so it's struggling right here. Yeah. It, it, I had to hit the accelerator, by the way. Yeah. So some interventions. So again, let's first of all, we're in the city of Pittsburgh. This is an old city, uh, a little crazy roads. It's interesting. We're coming up on a stop sign, a stoplight here. It's going to stop. It's interesting, you know. Um, if you think about most big <laughs> cities, right? You can make three right turns and end up where you're starting. In the city of Pittsburgh, unfortunately, if you make two right turns, you may end up at a dead end or you're going over a bridge and you're heading out of the city. That's just- You'll be in Philly before you know. Exactly. So that's just uh, what we're living with here. So, you know, um, um, uh, full self-driving, particularly in the city, which is, again, one of the places that you'd, you'd ideally, I think, where it would um, uh, be best, has some challenges, although I would argue it's really come a long way. I mean, I've been watching a lot of these videos. It's gotten better and better and better over time, but some cities... Let's see what this does. Yes. So if he had sees a car, he's not really sure what he's doing. Our direction is to go... No, no we're going... We, I'd we're going it, right. Yeah, I set it to, to go this way. Yeah, so a little hesitancy. You can see how a driver behind us would get a little annoyed. Interestingly enough, that, um, that driver behind us in the Model Y happens to be my car. So, um, you know, he's not going to be annoyed and be <laughs> honking at us by any means, but... Someone might honk at him. Yeah, somebody might honk at him. <laughs> um, I love the new visualizations as they get, as each of the betas come out, it gets better and better and better. But um, we're just going to put it through a few of its paces here just to show you what it does, where its strengths are. And, and I would make an argument that on the highway, it's it's actually really very good. But, the highway but is amazing. It's, yeah, but, but the challenging part and if you just think about all the data that's required, the decision points, um, you can see it's not it's not that hard. It's easy for us to drive as humans because you know we have this incredible computer that does all these sort of things. This has to take into account the environment and try to make some decisions. So one thing we have here, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it's doing now. I think it's because it detects people up there. Mm -hmm. Normally it will which is a flaw it will run right through and no turn on red yes now this one is a monday through friday technically we have we the ability turn. we do turn. um and normally yeah. under whatever circumstance it so it, what it's doing now it's creeping forward because the camera needs to kind of see around the corner to yep. make sure that no cars are coming and, I, yeah, and I then think it, I think it goes it, yeah i think it waited because those people were people there, were there too, sure. so it will always 
err on the side of being cautious. It won't take that other, risk. Other than the fact that it runs through the no turn on red. <laughs> so, you know, if, if so, let's say this one. Well, this yes. this one technically is like an actual stop. Yeah. Um, Hopefully it doesn't try to just go through this. One. Oh, yeah, it's going see, to creep. So it's, it's trying. So, it's trying. So I have to take so over So you disengaged here. it right there. So I, I, you disengage yeah. by putting your foot on the brake. Foot on the brake, yeah. Uh, and that disengages it. So interesting that that, that happened right as, yeah. as I had mentioned that. So yeah, yeah. That, that's one part where it struggles and it does not acknowledge no turn on red. Yeah. And this intersection here is a very clear reason as to why it's a no turn on red because technically this is a true intersection yes. and not just you know you yeah. once it's clear kind of thing yeah not only that though i mean this happens to be a really major road and you can't mm -hmm. really see around the corner there technically i guess if you creep up you could start seeing around there you could get creamed very 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 quickly for and really what's an unprotected really right or semi right or Pittsburgh variable <laughs> right, you know? Yeah. All right, so now that we have the go-ahead, I'll, I'll go ahead and make this turn, and then I'll activate and then it And then we again. engage it. Okay. So what, you, you, we've been talking about the weaknesses. So what are some of the strengths of full self-driving? In the city, it's, it, it's really tough to say. Um, mm -hmm. So it just slowed down because it saw the pedestrian yeah. there. It wasn't sure what he was going to do. Yeah. So it did just switch over into the lane that it needs to be in. Yeah. Let's see if it stays here because sometimes it will still hop back over. Really? Into and, the other and lane. And then as it realizes, oh wait, we need to be over here yeah. because our route that we're taking it to yes. Takes um, us down. Is, is taking us down this way. So the other thing that I, I would I've also noticed. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, it sees a car, it, it stopped. It did stop, okay. It, it did a, a little bit short. Abruptly. But but one of the things I noticed too is and there's a perfect example. Right? I mean, when we drive, it's a, it's, it's the input is a little bit smoother. Um, it tends to make uh, more jerkier turns. Um, and I think uh, watching the videos over on YouTube, I've seen it get, gotten better over time, but it's still, it's not as smooth a um, uh, navigation, changing lanes and that sort of stuff. The decision points, when it, once it decides what it wants to do, it's not as, Natural. Smooth, exactly, as a human would. Right. So it's it's not often that I that I run it on these streets here. Yeah. So this is pretty experimental for me. <laughs> um, so far, it's we're okay. This is a new light, light that they haven't activated yet. But it's interesting that it's stopping here. It's okay, so it's just creeping forward. I'm going to go ahead and hit the accelerator. Yeah, okay, and which is reasonable what you would do, right? Yes. Because I mean, most of us will probably just drive through that because it's not activated, it's not activated yet. Yeah. But it's possible that the person coming in the other direction, although that's really a side street, would look at it and say. Oh, well, you know, that's not there yet. And if we both make the same decision that to just problem. kind of go through, we're, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Okay. So this, this is, is a this is a high pedestrian area normally. And right. so so here's the deal. So using that as an example, that was inappropriate, but they did that. Um, and the but it was but yeah, but that was kind of an extreme would have braked a little bit to slow down and recognize that that car is going um, and being fully prepared to make a harder stop in case they stopped and we could they couldn't clear but that was just a, a probably a bit harder than most of us would have probably applied right, the brake right and let's go ahead and get us to the wash do you want to go to mount washington yes. now all right let's go to the grand view overlook so this is now going to take us up to Mount Washington. So it's this stopping is going crosswalk to be interesting. and it's this making is a, a right. Road. Yeah. So it sees this person here and I think it's waiting. Yeah. So, so people could probably look at this going like, what the heck is going on? Why is it going so slow? What, what are they doing? We, we got people there recording us. Well, they also <laughs> love the call. So one of the things um, that you you may not notice very well, actually you should notice now, is because um, so it sees people here. Uh, this car is a uh, has a wrap on it that's just so unique that everybody looks at it, um, and uh, so uh, this just gets people's attention. So we're going to creep forward. I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to stop, break, yeah, because these people started walking. She looked irritated. Yeah, well, I mean, 
she, I think she's just irritated at the world, unfortunately. I'll go ahead and go across. We've got yep. some cops over there. Hi, Mr. Popo. All right. Yeah, don't have an accident in front of them. That's just not good. Yeah, we've, okay, so I just hit autopilot again, and it wanted to go into that Audi. And it's a uh, Audi okay, owned so by it, it a sees, policeman. It sees that the brakes are on, <laughs> yes. and I think that's why it was struggling. Yeah. If you look at the visualization here, you can now see yeah. brake lights. And I think, oh, that's actually real. That's a new thing because it wasn't always like that. Turn signals also. Oh, yeah, the there signal? it is. Oh, so that's so it's all those small features which I think are really important. That's what we as humans take into account when we see this stuff. So it's going to creep up to this stop sign. I just react. We're going it. to go right here. So it's coming forward. It's looking around. We're good. Good. And so you know that's a reasonable turn. That was yeah. That's a smooth turn, um, and then with acceleration too, which is you know what we would expect. Um, so it's it going to change, automatically change, change lanes, lanes, but, but it, it's being indecisive. What is it doing? We're it's not change. sure if it wants to or not. It's probably going to do it illegally right in front of the interstate. <laughs> no, no, it didn't. <laughs> <before it's the laughs> <intercession. laughs> okay. Sometimes it does do that. It does yeah. change lanes illegally in an intersection. Intersection, which you really wouldn't. Most of us it's, would get past it or do it before. Yeah, and there was actually one time when it tried to do a lane change in the middle of the Liberty Tunnel. Oh. Right? in it with two solid lines no. very interesting because yes. normally it will like if i'm on autopilot and i'm going through it and at the end of the tunnel you want to get around and skip somebody or whatever change lanes mm -hmm. it will continue to wait until that solid line is gone as most people oh, in no. Pittsburgh yeah, know, yeah, yeah. that stays solid, solid for about another quarter mile yes. or so so i'm gonna go ahead and speed it up another yeah. five miles an hour Sounds here good. um so it has done that once, and of course I stopped that from happening so I didn't change lanes in the middle of a tunnel. Yeah. It looked like it wanted to change there, but it didn't. <laughs> it's like, nope, that's a, that's a no-go. No bueno. And, and one thing, too, that, that we didn't mention earlier when you were talking about how difficult these roads are here in Pittsburgh is all of the autonomous companies... Yes. Aurora. Are here. Uh, yes. Aurora. Yep. Um, Uber started Uber here. Started here. Uh, Argo. Argo, yes. They, they all started here, and I actually talked to one of the guys, uh, one of the head guys at Uber some time ago. Yeah. And I asked him, why did you guys pick Pittsburgh? And he told me the actual reason was because they have found Pittsburgh to be the most, most difficult. challenging. Yeah. Well, it, it's actually been labeled as the most difficult city in the country to navigate. Yeah. Well, I just said earlier, two left turns and... Yes. Good luck. So, but, yeah. Yeah, we've got the most one way streets. We've got a bunch of narrow streets. Um, we've got a it's bunch of hills. Yep. It, it's just, yeah, it's an yeah. old city. Yeah. Um, it, it truly was designed poorly. So, Pittsburgh is a very difficult city to navigate for many reasons. Uh, I mean, this intersection that we're at here now is what, a one, two, three, four, technically a five, five way yeah. five way intersection and it and, is very straight and it's not just you know we're here and then there's a right over here and a right up there mm -hmm. and then we kind of veer off to the left and then there's an actual left actual there. so left. there's there's nothing straight here yeah. about this so that's just one of the reasons why Pittsburgh is so difficult for autopilot to operate yeah. accurately yeah. all right guys that's going to do it for this video with full self driving we're now heading up uh, to Mount Washington here. Um, and so it kind of basically shows you some of the limitations some of the limitations that we just saw. Overall, I think it's a good aid, but that's exactly what it is. It's a good aid. We're certainly not at level five yet. Uh, level three point three, three five. And a half, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's how the way to think about it. I think twelve thousand dollars. I don't think it's it's nah, right. It's I think I think six thousand dollars is probably a good price point. The subscription-based model, I'm not so sure about as well. But overall, I think it's certainly something to consider. Right. The subscription base, I, th I think, is something good to consider for someone who's going to have a short term. Yeah. If you don't want to invest the twelve thousand dollars because you know you're going to have it for one or two years. Yep. You do the math; it makes much more sense that way. So exactly. there, there is that to factor in. If you plan on having it long term, yeah. go for it. I mean, I, I did, and I've had it four years. Yeah. It's been great. I wish they would let it stay with the user and not necessarily the car. Or even if it's, it's with the car, stays with the car. But if you sell it back to Tesla, it goes away. So that's the part that kind of sucks. Anyway, guys. Just a quick video on... <laughs> it is struggling It's here. struggling to figure out where we're going <laughs> on full self-driving. But it got um, it. Beta. Thank you so much for watching.
We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Today. Are we done? Almost.